Hello everyone, it's me again, Daniel, and uh, if, you are, uh, uh, if you are into 360 cameras, then I am the guy to speak to. So today uh, I am happy to talk about a new 360 camera because it's been quite a while. So the new 360 camera that's coming towards the end of the summer, it's called the Kandao Q... 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 How do you say it? QCam. Thank you. So yeah, the Kandao QCam, which is a kind of very interesting new 360 camera. It looks like this. So as you can see, it's got three lenses, two on one side and one on the other side. And it can use the three lenses to shoot in 360, or it can use the two lenses that are on the same side to shoot 3D kind of normal flat footage. And it's really interesting because half of it kind of moves. You can like bend it down to shoot in 3D so that the two lenses are horizontal rather than vertical and that's how you can shoot 3D. So I'm going to tell you about the specs, I'm going to show you some example footage that's been released and I'm just going to let you know what I think compared to the other cameras, where it kind of fits in and uh, you know whether you should consider buying it. Um, I don't have it yet but hopefully I will at some point and then I'll do a review and compare it and all that kind of stuff that I usually do. So yeah, let's get started with the specs. So here are the basic specs. Um, all this information is available on the Kickstarter page for this camera. 360 video recording at 3840 by 1920, uh, which is essentially 4K, which is what we're used to these days. <clears throat> it can shoot in slow motion, but at a much reduced resolution of 1920 by 960. So, I mean, that's a really low resolution for 360 video. It will look very blurred and um, kind of like a 2008 phone camera. It can shoot 360 photos at a resolution of 4320 by 2160, which to be honest is not great. Uh, I definitely think this is going to be much more of a video camera than for photos. So yeah, uh, that's my first impressions just off the specs. And there is a example photo, which, you know, is kind of fairly basic, but yeah. So I definitely think this is going to be more, more of a video camera than photo. Like I said, it can also shoot in 3D in 180 degrees using the two lenses that are on the same side. Um, and it can shoot that at a resolution the same as 360 at 3840 by 1920. But those pixels should be more condensed into a smaller um, field of view. So that should look more high quality, should look closer to 4K than it would in 360. So those are kind of the main specs in terms of uh, video and photo quality. But it also has some other features such as stabilization. So they've shown an example of what it looks like here uh, with, with and without stabilization. So it seems to be fairly good. Whether it can compete with the likes of uh, the Rilo, the GoPro Fusion, which have awesome stabilization, and the Insta360 One, which was recently updated with very, very, very good stabilization. 360 cameras are basically very good at stabilizing uh, the video because there is so much more data for them to play with. Um, so hopefully this can match those cameras and be super smooth even when you're running or cycling or anything. That's, that's the goal, really. That's what I would expect now, these days. Now, a very unique feature that this camera has is the ability to refocus um, after you've shot your video or photos. So uh, here's what it looks like. This is what they've shown on their um, Kickstarter page. Well, basically you can select either the foreground or the background and refocus um, after you've shot it. This is after the, the photo has been shot. So you can either select which part you want to be in focus, which is really cool. That's never been done before with a 360 camera. And yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to trying that, seeing how well it actually works in reality. So it's, it also has some other stuff that we used to now, like live stream. It's got time lapse feature. It's got like a reframing um, mode. So you can, you know, like on the app, so you can select where you want it to look after. You can like make a, a flat video from your 360 video like the Rilo, like the Insta360 does now. So let's have a look at some video shot with this camera now. This is just from their Kickstarter page. And um, so I don't know how upstate it is, but you expect it to be a pretty good example if they're putting it on their Kickstarter. It's not in 360, it's just kind of the reframed version because uh, I guess that's what they wanted to show. So, I mean, it looks fairly good, um, about on the same uh, level as like the uh, mid-range cameras like Insta360 and uh, the Rilo, and maybe the MeSphere, it seems to be on the same level as that. They are all 4K cameras. But, um, you're gonna expect a similar quality to, I think, what you get with those cameras. So it will depend on the price, which I will tell you later. So yeah, just from looking at these example videos, I guess the first thing I can see is that it's very colorful, which I like. I personally like very colorful video, even if it's not super realistic, but I think colors are cool. They make the videos look interesting and that's the goal of creating video. You want people to watch it and you want, want it to look interesting. So that's good. It doesn't seem to be washed out. There doesn't seem to be any problem with stitching from what I can tell. It seems to stitch very fairly accurately. There's none of those like lines that you can see. It does seem a little bit blurry. Um, like I think now, I'm used to like watching five, 6K video because I've got like the, this is like the GoPro Fusion and the Yi360, which shoots very high quality video, a very high bit rate. Um, and I suspect that this does not have as high a bit rate as the cam those cameras. Um, so it can look slightly blurry, I think. Not so many details, especially in the background. 
Um, and, but this is a reframe video, so obviously it zooms in a little bit. So um, yeah, it's gonna lose some quality. Compared to the other cameras I own, just, uh, I mean, just from looking at it, I would say, yeah, it's, it looks about the same as like the Insta361, which has similar, um, similar capabilities. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you some other footage. They've shot some in slow motion, which actually looks better than I expected. They've probably done some post-processing editing and to make it look a bit better, but that's fine, because I mean, we can all do that as well. And I think slow motion in 360 is kind of like the future. That would be so awesome if you can get like a very high quality slow motion and 360 video, because I mean, one of the complaints with 360 video is that it, you don't know where to look. It all ends, happens too quickly, and um, you don't know if you're looking at the right thing. Well, if, if it happened in slow motion, you would have time to look around and see what's going on, and it would look cool. But yeah, it's still quite low quality, but it's cool that it's there, and it's a good start. The slow motion is also available when you shoot in 3D in uh, the kind of more 180 uh, field of view, which will mean higher quality. So maybe that the slow motion will pre probably be better um, shot with that mode. But yeah, talking in 3D, here's an example of what kind of what that looks like when you shoot it. Um, it's obviously not stitched together, it's not visible in 3D because this is not a 3D video, but this is how it shoots it. It uses those two lenses. The app that, that controls the uh, Q or... Cam. Thank you. Also has features that we've seen before, uh, like a, a following feature, a um, tracking feature, uh, allows you to track a certain image and just follow it around. So it's got similar features to what we've seen in the Rilo and the Insta360. So yeah, guys, I guess that's it. So the last thing to talk about, I guess, is the price. How much is this thing gonna cost? Well, right now on Kickstarter, it's available for $299, but that's kind of like an early bird thing. It's like a cheaper way to, you know, get funding, get backing. And um, there's only seven left, I think, of these uh, as far as right now. So you would need to hurry up if you wanted to get that. When it's released in August, they say it's gonna be released in August, um, the full price is gonna be a uh, hundred dollars and more expensive, so four hundred dollars essentially. For that, you are getting the 180 mode um, in 3D and the, the refocusing. So I guess that's what you're paying extra for. Uh, yeah, but it looks like to be a really cool camera, and um, the reason I'm quite excited about it is because uh, Kandao is a, like I said, a manufacturer of professional 360 cameras, um, like the Obsidian, and I think they have one other one, and those are considered to be very good in the profession in terms of professional 360, very very high quality. Uh, cameras. So the fact that now they are probably using their um, knowledge used to make those very professional and turning it into a kind of uh, consumer package, you would expect that it to be quite good quality. So um, that's what I'm hoping and we will see in August. So like I say, once I get a hold of the camera, I will test it and show you guys uh, what it can do and compare it with some of the other cameras that I have. Uh, but until then, I hope this has been useful. If you want to keep track of this camera and all the other ones and see some cool 360 stuff and how to edit and all these kind of things, um, subscribe because I will be doing that. So the Kandao Cam is available in August. It's available on Kickstarter now. Um, they've already got like $200,000 worth of backing. So I'm like, they're done. They're, they're happy. They're definitely going to release it. It's all good. So uh, check it out. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.